mental health is very, very complicated, even as of today. Only about 40% of people are employed. And that is like, that's not even all of the people that have mental illness that are not employed. There's probably more that we don't even know about. Mental health illness is a difficult as it is crippling. Some people have physical illnesses as well, such as neurological disorders, such as neuropathy, which sometimes makes it hard to stand and walk for long periods of time, fibromyalgia, as well as autism. And yeah, autism is a neurological condor- disorder. Some illnesses are, mental health illnesses are bipolar 1 and 2, schizophrenia, P- and PTSD, and that does not even include all of them. People like this are at, are least likely to be accepted in society as a whole because people would rather reject criticize and even shame them but people with mental illnesses are just as capable as being productive as non-ill people studies studies have shown it and there are multiple like pages of like studies on this too the myth that people with mental health illnesses and needs cannot hold down a job is staggering and is ridiculously untrue. People, actually people with a mental illness can hold down a job at least as good as normal people. The real reason people can't get a job is because of the huge stigma that surrounds these people's employer, or like around the employers. They'd be looking at like, are you crazy? You think we're going to let you in here? And that stigma is extremely unfair and cruel and is even more harmful than having an actual mental health illness. I know because I've tried to get a job and it is extremely difficult because of all this, the stigma that surrounds it. Suicide rates over mental health, mental illness related stigma is extremely high by over 30%. So if somebody you know is thinking about suicide, call the National Health Su- Suicide Line at one 800 273-8255. That's 1-800-273-8255. Thanks and bye.